Chuma News presents Turtles and Tortoises. Sea turtle dragged from beach for picture taking, then attacked. This loggerhead sea turtle is the latest animal to be used and abused by careless people trying to take photographs. The pictures were posted on June 15th by rescue group Animals Lebanon. The turtle can be seen getting dragged from Havana Beach just south of Beirut. The turtle was then subjected to being used as a prop for selfies, this little child even being placed on top of his shell. Once the people were done with him, one witness told the rescue group they began beating him with a stick on the head. The head trauma he suffered would support that claim, as veterinarians treating him report a depression in the skull that came from a recent strike. The turtle is said to be recovering at a marine animal facility until he's clear to be able to return to the waters. A blue shark in the Dominican Republic suffered the same ordeal, but died in the process. As did a swan in Macedonia back in March, and a dolphin in Argentina a month before that. Guess this trend of stupidity when it comes to taking pictures with animals is a global epidemic. 900 coins found inside endangered sea turtle's stomach. A team of veterinarians worked hours to remove more than 900 coins from the stomach of an endangered turtle found Monday in Sriracha, Thailand. Some think, according to Thai tradition, tossing coins into a turtle pond brings you a lucky long life. Whether that's true for humans is a matter of debate. But the coins sure didn't bring luck to one poor 25-year-old female green sea turtle. She thought the coins were food, but unable to digest them, she was taken to Chulalongkorn University for treatment by the Thai Navy. Turns out the turtle swallowed 11 pounds of the metal currency, a load so heavy it cracked its ventral shell, causing a life-threatening infection. A CT scan showed 915 coins lodged inside her digestive system. Veterinary surgeons spent over four hours slowly extracting the coins through a four-inch incision. The turtle, nicknamed Om Sim or Bank in Thai, is recovering in the university's animal hospital on a liquid-only diet. Nantarika Chansu, one of the surgeons who operated on Om Sim, kindly urged Thais to stop throwing their dang coins into turtle ponds. She also thanked the kind souls who donated more than $400 for the turtle's medical bills. Galapagos giant tortoise brought back from brink of extinction. Around 1,000 giant tortoises have been reintroduced to the Galapagos island of Española, saving the species from extinction in a rare conservation success story. The Española giant Galapagos tortoises can be found in the Galapagos archipelago, 1,000 kilometers west of Ecuador and specifically on Española island. The tortoises measure around one meter in length and have a saddleback shell. They survive on grass and leaves during the wet season and cactus during the dry season. The population used to number from five to ten thousand but was devastated with the arrival of buccaneers and whalers in the 18th and 19th centuries. Their numbers reduced to just 15 specimens by the 1960s. Using those 15 tortoises, the population was rebuilt over the last five decades via a breeding program that produced more than 1,000 tortoises. The tortoises were brought from captivity to Española Island and are now able to look after and sustain themselves. Giant tortoise says wow repeatedly while having sex. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow indeed. This Aldabra giant tortoise is getting it on at a zoo in Israel. In an incredible display of things animals do that mirror our own behavior, this male tortoise is having such a great time, the only word he can think to muster with every thrust is... Giant Aldabra tortoises are an interesting bunch. Sure, they're slow, but they're also known for their acrobatics, being able to get up on their hind legs to reach low branches. For this, some biologists refer to them as the ninjas of the tortoise world. Hmm, acrobatic ninja tortoises. Sounds familiar. Wonder if they like pizza, too. Under favorable conditions, Aldabra giant tortoises are said to be able to live upwards of 200 years. That gives them plenty of baby-making time. And when you've been at it for that long, how many new ways can one tortoise come up with to express himself? This ninja was prepared to wow his girl all night. Only problem was, another guy came by after a few minutes and tossed him on his shell, which can actually be deadly for them. 
This amazing footage was captured on October 31st. Hopefully, by now, someone's helped him back up. Aussie dude surf on the back of endangered green sea turtle. Green sea turtles are an endangered species listed as vulnerable in Queensland, Australia. But that didn't stop these two mates from hopping on the back of one and taking a cool pic. 26-year-old Ricky Rogers, who calls himself an animal lover, says he and his friends were driving around Fraser Island last weekend when they spotted the turtle and pulled over because they thought it was stuck and wanted to help. Upon closer inspection, the two claim it was already dead, long dead, and had black gunk oozing out of its mouth. Rather than bury it or just leave it be, they figured it might make for a rad photo if they used it as a surfboard. When they posted the shot, they didn't anticipate all the backlash they later received from conservationists. The turtle was dead. What's the big deal, right? Well, for one thing, just because they claimed that particular turtle was dead, the photograph is still a depiction of animal cruelty, which is not okay. Secondly, for so-called animal lovers, riding on the back of a dead turtle's carcass isn't exactly a great way to pay one's respects. The green sea turtle population is damaged by boat propeller accidents as well as them getting caught in fishnets by trawler fishermen raping the ocean. They're also hunted by humans illegally for their meat and eggs, and their nesting grounds are often destroyed by human encroachment. The last thing green sea turtles need is foolish hooligans pulling ignorant stunts like this, wouldn't you say? Sea turtle caught in $53 million worth of blow. You know how the life of a sea turtle goes? Wake up, swim, 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 and then by Splinter's tail, where did all this Bolivian marching powder come from? That was the case for this shellhead who was found by the U.S. Coast Guard entangled in 53 mil worth of floating yayo in the eastern Pacific this week. Word is all this blow weighed 1.8 tons. According to a post on their Facebook page, the Coasties spotted the wired reptile earlier this week while on patrol and went to sort it out. They set the turtle free, but said he received a chafing to his neck and flippers. Um, don't kiss your pet turtles, okay? Pet turtles are being blamed for causing an outbreak of human salmonella infections in 13 U.S. states. 37 people from 13 states have been infected with salmonella agbeni that's been linked with pet turtles. According to the CDC, all turtles carry salmonella bacteria, even if they look healthy and clean. The bacteria can even end up in the water they swim in. Kissing the turtles or placing them near the mouth can contaminate humans with the bacteria. The FDA has banned selling and distributing turtles with shells less than four inches long as pets since 1975. The CDC also recommends that households with young children should not keep turtles or reptiles as pets. Man keeps about 40 turtles underfoot at home. In Taiwan, Mr. Lin Wo Lin is obsessed with turtles and has about 40 of the slow-moving reptiles living on the ground floor and backyard of his house. Mr. Lin confessed that he is not even sure why he likes turtles so much. He jokingly said that perhaps it's because he's watched too much Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a child. He says that his first pet, a large turtle he's named Atta, was actually abandoned on his doorstep after being injured. Mr. Lin brought in the injured turtle who had a badly cracked shell that left his side exposed and provided the turtle with water and food. Eventually, Atta recovered and neighbors brought a few more turtles who'd been abandoned by their owners. Mr. Lin said that the most recent addition to his turtle clan was because two of his red-shelled turtles got it on and laid a clutch of eggs in his backyard. Mr. Lin said he was in the backyard cleaning up after his turtles when he noticed half a dozen baby turtles climbing out of an indent in the ground. Mr. Lin's first rescue, Ada, is the oldest of his turtles and is just 15 years old, which is nothing according to Mr. Lin because turtles often can outlive humans. He said he'll have to be sure to include his turtle clan in his will to make sure they're cared for after he's gone. Pet owner breathes new life into his dying tortoise. What do you do when a pet is dying? Well, one pet owner in Gloucestershire, England, revived his drowning tortoise by giving the animal CPR for an hour. Pet owner John Fletcher was left shell-shocked when he found his 45-year-old tortoise, Freda, drowning in his garden pond on August 14th. Not ready to say goodbye to his beloved pet, Fletcher tried to revive Freda by giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR and stretching her head out a little. After a while, the pet owner saw water coming out of Freda's mouth and her legs began to twitch. He then used a hairdryer to warm Freda up and massaged her legs and back. 
Fletcher massaged Freda's chest repeatedly for an hour, and finally, the tortoise began gasping for air, then opened her eyes to let her owner know she was alive. After being saved, Freda is now back to her normal routine, strolling around and, you know, just uh, generally uh, looking at things. Only now, she'll be staring at a fence around the pond that Fletcher put up to protect her. According to a reptile store in the UK, tortoises can only float on water for a short amount of time. So peeps, uh, keep an eye on your little friends. An injured green sea turtle can swim again after scientists came to its help with a prosthetic fin. A green sea turtle that had to have two flippers amputated after sustaining severe damage has regained the ability to swim with the help of a revolutionary prosthetic fin. Israeli scientists decided to help an injured green sea turtle after it was trapped by a fishing net in the Mediterranean Sea. The male turtle's left side flippers were so badly damaged that they were deemed beyond repair and had to be amputated. Scientists first designed a prosthetic fin similar to the dorsal fin of a fish. They found the new fin improved the turtle's swimming, but it was still finding it difficult to properly emerge at the water's surface. One scientist decided to create a prosthetic for the turtle based on the design of Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor warplane. Scientists formed two fins that kept the turtle relatively balanced, helping it to surface properly. However, the turtle will never be able to return to the wild. The turtle was dubbed Hofesh, which means freedom in Hebrew. He is being kept in a tank with a female green sea turtle named Surit, whom scientists hope he will mate with so their offspring may be released into the wild.